guys, welcome back. This is Bernardo from the BJ Tech News. Yeah. Another exciting episode with you guys. Actually, not an episode, but a video. Uh, dealing with Ubuntu. Uh, and I am dealing with, uh, I believe, 13.9 uh, Ubuntu. And I not too long ago recently got a client that gave me a call and they wanted uh, Samba file server to be created on their Ubuntu. So I'm going to show you guys how I did it. Uh, I'm not going to go in more details, but I'm going to give you the rundown of how to get through it. Uh, because uh, it, it takes a little bit more dealing with permissions and users and all that stuff. But I'm just going to get you up and running and how to get it up. So let's get started. You want to get up to the terminal. Once you get to the terminal, you want to run a sudo app get install. And you want to do a samba. Hit enter. You want to put the password. And hit enter. And it's basically going to go into the, repo uh, the repository. Download all what it's needed. Hit yes because you want to continue. And it's going to download everything it needs and install itself. Yes, and we're back. Once that's completed, you are good to go. You can take the best practice and reboot your machine. But if you don't want to reboot your machine, let's go and configure some config files so we get that share up and running. So I'm going to run a clear command to clear out the terminal. And what we want to do is we want to do a sudo g edit or slash etc for slash samba. See if I could spell it right. Forward slash. And the file that you want to get into is smb.config. C O M C O N F. Hit enter. And there we go. Now, you're probably going to get this warning right here. Uh, I don't know why I'm getting that warning. So, what I'm going to do is I'm going to do a nano. Nano. There we go. And what you guys want to do is you want to edit the following key value parts in the global section of this of this file. And it would be okay, so once you locate the work group attribute within the config file, you want to change that work group into the domain name. So my domain is bjtech.edu and the security I'm gonna add a security right here. And the security is going to be user. Sign that to user. Okay. The thing that you guys want to do within the same file, you want to go all the way to the bottom. And this is where you're going to create your share folder. So you see the section that says share uh, definitions? This is where you're going to create your folder, right, guys? So right now we have a printer, and I'm going to add it right here. So I'm going to give some space. And this is where I want to add my first one. So I'm going to give the parameter of share. share. Hit enter. Uh, give it a little space if you want. Let's hit a uh, couple of space bars. And let's give it a comment of equals, uh, I don't know. Let's, uh, let's do it uh, BJ's Tech News uh, File Server Share. Hit enter on that and we're gonna give it a path now the path is up to you what you guys want to do and I'm going to place it here okay keep in mind of where you're placing the path because the path is very important where you guys want to be placing it because most likely when you guys do the permissions you need to know the path and uh, actually let's do this now this right here, this primer right here that I'm going over with, that's the name of the actual file. So I'm going to give it another name. So let's go BJ Tech News and change this to BJ Tech News. Hit enter. Okay. And you want to do uh, browsable, which is the attribute. And you do want to make this browsable. Hit, make it uh, yes. And you want to guess OK attribute. You want to make it yes for that. It's up to you if you want to have allow guests to have access to this. Re only. Signed. Uh, I'm going to give it a no for that. 
And the last one, you got to give it permissions. You want to create a mask and assign it to 0755. And we're going to do a control X, hit Y for yes, and hit enter. And we just created our folder. Now it's time for us to create the folder as well as give it permission for people to have access to. So the way that we want to do that, we want to do a sudo. Let's actually clear this out. And we're going to do a sudo mkdr dir for directory dash p for parameter and remember that I told you guys you gotta remember where you told that path inside your config file so I gave it uh, BJ Tech News and it is created now it's time to give it the permissions that you want to give it and the permissions that I'm gonna be giving it is a no group slash SVR and the location of the folder now I'm gonna have everyone have access to it because this is like a transfer file I want everyone to have access to it and we're gonna hit enter awesome and then what you want to do is restart the Samba server and it's a SBD uh, SMB BD hit enter okay and the next one that you guys want to do is a restart N M B D, and that's about it, guys. Uh, let's let's test it out. Let me go into my domain controller. Domain controller. Let me see if I can ping the server. All right, I'm able to ping the server. That's great. Let's see if I go whack whack bj dash ubuntu, and there we go. There goes my folder that I just created. Booyah! Awesome. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Please comment. Let me know what you guys think. Please give me thumb ups. I love those thumbs up because it makes me feel so happy inside. And I'll catch you guys on the next video. Peace out!